episode of Aspire Tech Talk, a video series where we discuss technology, potential job prospects and some critical skill set that could be new those jobs. Uh, and today we will talk about DevOps, its relevance and demand in today's tech world. Not just that, we will discuss some key skill sets, career opportunities and prospects with Aspire Systems. To take us through this topic, we have with us today Mr. Balamurgan Setaram, who is an Associate Practice Manager from IAS Business Unit at Aspire Systems. Uh, welcome to Aspire Tech Talk, Bala. Thanks, Mino. Thanks for introducing IAS and uh, I'm heading the DevOps practice. And thank you, viewers. Uh, so, Bala, let's uh, directly uh, go into our topic. Why is DevOps becoming more prominent and how did it become so relevant to the tech world? So, the DevOps is one of the cutting edge technology, which was introduced 10 years back when we say DevOps, which is not any technology, which is again, principle, practices and tool sets all together put across for the technological world to bring some advancement where the development cycle, you know, the development life cycle can be shorter than the, uh, you know, the olden uh, uh, a framework uh, which which can be put it across you know waterfall model or the rational unified model or or any other you know uh, a software development cycle so now the devops and agile is is something goes hand in hand where i will talk about uh, agile in a different uh, you know uh, timeline but devops is nothing but it's a cultural connect between the developers and the operations team so to bring the gap between the development team and the operations team, uh, there is a you know team or the principles or the framework introduced with a set of engineers. They have been trained on a certain uh, tool stack, I would say, or the technologies, uh, which will help you know uh, to make sure that the earlier Stone Age cycle, like you know, it's a it, it takes about an year to complete one product. But introducing DevOps as a practice with an Agile as a framework, okay, so it can bring down the entire life cycle in an year to a month's time. So uh, th th this is the best way of I can define which is more prominent in the tech world, which is, you know, ruling all the uh, industries, which is, uh, you know, uh, any product development or the service companies whom they are giving uh, uh, services or the development to the uh, big giants. So especially bankings or insurance or securities or uh, retail and so on and so forth. Yeah. So um, you had already mentioned about Agile. So let me ask you how uh, DevOps and Agile work together. Okay. So Agile is a, a framework. Uh, DevOps is a practice. Okay. So when I say Agile, See, the Agile is actually a software development cycle, which is broken into, you know, uh, a different uh, time frame. So in Agile, right, we have two uh, subdivisions. One is uh, Scrum and Kanban. Okay. So when I say Scrum, which is again, it, it, it has its own list of uh, standards, which, which is, you know, uh, divided into every 15 days, 15 days or 21 days. It depends on the product life cycle. Okay. And, and Kanban is something is used in a operation side. Okay. So this connects with agile. And when it, when I say DevOps, which is a practice, which helps, okay. With a set of tools where it tries to achieve the agile methodology. So nowadays in this tech world, right, we cannot differentiate devops or agile in a in a different you know way of implementation which has a lot of uh, you know cultural improvement with the principles where the processes tool chains everything is put together and uh, we were able to successfully achieve in a agile development methodology with the devops practice in it uh, let's come to uh, aspire and can you explain where aspire stands in terms of uh, devops practices all our fortune 500 companies and you know across the world whomever is trying to adopt the latest you know framework which is uh, nothing but agile way of devops so what we have done 
we have you know educated the uh, customers and uh, we have been you know trying to uh, give them the framework which is developed in house in aspire and we proved it in in few of the existing customers and that spreads across to the other customers you know with the way of uh, 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 the framework which which we developed in house so that's when we jumped into you know uh, bringing the value add as part of the development testing and qa and now we are doing even much much greater and our practice become more in you know giving such solutions by introducing the devops as a practice how do you see uh, the future of devops considering its current uh, developments okay see the the scope of devops is pretty huge okay so devops is nothing but is a people in a business technology okay and second thing is the devops and agile are the seamless twins which i said these are the other uh, aspect of how do you see the devops practice okay and the third one is raising focus on the automation part okay see devops you can call it as an automation okay and fourth one is the devops enabling the scaling of the multiple cloud migrations okay so by combining some of the best practices the four things which i have spoken about is at a very very high level we can speak about the full day but these are the four key things which can be considered you know the future which can be developed uh, along with the devops uh, so if we talk about some uh, skill sets what are some cr- uh, crucial skill set that you know aspire looks for uh, candidates who we hire uh, for this technological vertical okay so this this i can directly relate to when we go for a campus hire how do we correlate first we see on what technology they were really good at it you know by giving some assessment but lot of people they are really good at in language uh, like python cell scripting or server maintenance so this is this are, i know there are some people they are really good at uh, you know uh, java dot net networking ccna certified is much more but for this devops role right we carefully choose and pick those who are really interested in such areas apart from the programming yes programming is also one of the key factor but it's not necessary you should be a programmer or you should be a coder okay not just that you should know the knowledge about the entire operating system where you should know how to secure the operating system that is the basic of security you know comes into picture in the present day where we have lot of cyber threat you know all over the world okay let me come to straight we get to know the person who is having a really good communication skill soft skills understanding of what all the relevant tools which can be adapted for devops and also how to mitigate the security risks in the present world and automation skills i said lot of whomever i give some manual effort if he invent and do an automation by writing a script or taking a tool and adapt it right that is also another skill we look for and apart from cloud knowledge i said aws azure even third year of engineering college people started uh, going to some institutes and they are trying to get more knowledge about what is cloud so that is also another uh, pointer last but not the least there are a few soft skills people must have it how to speak how to you know be a proactive way of you know approaching customers and never say no for and how to say no at a certain point in time so overall we gauge all the you know uh, 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 skills in a simpler way of uh, assessment we go for a couple of test in terms of technical non technical so that is how we we you know bring people to aspire to get them trained not just devops across our entire ias department where we have cloud operations devops cyber security infrastructure as a security and application support these are the five pillar under ias across ias we go with the common you know practice uh, common method of hiring people yeah so uh, to those people who join us what are the learning opportunities that they can expect at aspire to uh, you know enhance their skills in this technologies so when they join aspire we don't generally straight away give uh, you know devops related tools or devops related principles for their training so the moment when they get into aspire 
we have a talent nurturing team right it's a very strong and wonderful team and uh, even i liked it <laughs> when i joined aspire i was really really you know uh, impressed with the way they organized the curriculum and first initial 3 months they give a generic training on all the languages they start with c c++ java dotnet python ruby it is when i say this many number of technologies it is not that they go in depth they completely thoroughly go with the fundamental of all the languages then they get into the specific area of the skill sets so under ias i said five pillars right if we decided to choose one person to one particular department we get into a specific training let me come to devops if i have to choose a person for a devops right i clearly focus on automation as a key then we start with what is agile what is devops fra- uh, uh, practice and framework and what all the tools you need to know to have automation as your thumb rule here okay you can do automation as a very high Uh, you know uh, a higher level of word so without manual intervention automatically the process would start at one end and it should end successfully on the other end if in between anything get breaks right you should be in a position to go and troubleshoot and come back you know fail fast right so these are the uh, you know general practice and in specific we have few tools in the open market i always talk about there are tools which is created by the um, um, uh, open uh, community so uh, open tech community uh, puppet chef ansible these are the open source tool and docker nagios jabbix these are the other tools and jenkins you know puppet uh, which i spoke about these are the uh, uh, tools which can be uh, referred in google and you yourself can learn so we choose those easiest tool and we train them in specific and we give them few pozs or the tasks and slowly gradually up to 6 months we give them the thorough training and we will be placing them into a, a simple project and then they will their career path will start from there yeah so uh, especially uh, since you talked about the career path what are the kind of growth opportunities that we offer it as far as this thing okay when we when we bring any you know candidates from uh, college or lateral entry let me give you an ex- uh, example of college passed out you know when they when they pursue their fourth year of career uh, we bring them as a titled call trainee okay so the trainees will go for 3 plus 3 months as i mentioned on my earlier uh, uh, conversation so they will be titled as a trainee once they complete 6 months we will be giving them small tasks they will complete another 6 months as a trainee employees with uh, all the access you know uh, azure aws at the cost of corporate uh, you know um, uh, subscriptions okay so once they complete one year right they will be moved into a junior devops engineer so that is when their real project starts it is something there is no period defined here if someone performs super fast within 2 years right we will be promoting them from third year onwards senior devops engineer if someone might take time they will be completing their senior devops engineer after completion of third year also right it is depends on the individual capability so in the hierarchy training junior devops engineer senior devops engineer devops lead and finally devops architect okay this is from the technical front and we do have people techno managerial right the person will be really really capable of handling customers handling the projects and much more we do expect then he can grow slowly a devops practice manager and he can be a delivery and he can be you know heading the entire division of uh, the aspire this is how the hierarchy it is followed in aspire to motivate any lateral hire or the college past out uh, so uh, well folks if you have these skill sets and you are looking for an amazing uh, career opportunity with the people centric organization do check out aspire's uh, career website which is uh, www.aspires.com/careers uh, 
and uh, bala this was wonderful session loaded with some valuable information and uh, thank you so much for the time you have sh- spared with us and uh, the knowledge you have uh, shared with our audience today yeah thank you madam thank you viewers welcome to aspire if you wish to come we are always welcoming you thank you so much